G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. Today we're having a look at the Alton Goods hammock straps. Now these are the ultralight ones they say. Now the specs are the total length of each is 275 centimetres by 2.5 centimetres which is so that's an inch isn't it roughly. And it's a looped one so it's not one way you pull it and adjust it on the buckles. You've actually got loops coming all the way down and there's 25 loops that you can use for adjustment. Uh, what else have we got? The weight capacity will hold 300 kilograms. So strong. Uh, total pack weight as with the pack and both straps is 106 grams. Pack size is 13 centimeters 3.1 I don't know, 3.1 where the straps are only 2.5, so, and 8.7. So the little pack, it seems pretty good quality. Oh, drawstring on it and a line lock. Now I have another item of theirs where the drawstring isn't long enough so you can't open it all the way. So you struggle to get in and out. Uh, see if this one's long enough. Bit of a fiddle, but yeah, still got spare with a drawstring, so that's a good sign. And before anything else, I've got to check their finish, even though it's only a little stuff sack full in. Look at that. Hasn't been tied it up, loose thread. Now you would thought they would have trimmed it and just singed it back a bit. On the inside. You may think I'm being pedantic, but yeah, I think they need to get up on their quality control. Put it that way. Now it's just black, that's all. There's no fancy red reinforcement or anything in it. Held together with an elastic band, which is no problem with that. Material is a line of letters, which I believe is the uh, same as Dyneema. Let's put it that way. Now the quality of the actual loops I don't know if they've actually been stitched you can't see any stitching I'm wondering if they've just been heat and melted together the only time will tell how strong that is whether it's stronger than the need on the thread it's tidy. Like I said, if it's melted together, you can't have any <laughs> loose threads. No, it's, it's fairly tidy. The loops seem evenly spaced. That must be the end. That's Pass through, no, oh no, the label stitched together. So their weight capacity 300 kilograms. You can see that. Uh, Ultra light hammock straps and all turn tape sewn on the other end. Yeah, you can see the stitching on that, but no stitching joining the loops, so I believe they've been melted together. Didn't come with any carabiners, I like with this sort of thing to have a carabiner on so I can just click it over where I want it and then have that hanging to adjust for the hammock. Yeah, so the simple with this is you wrap that around the tree push that through, pull it all the way through until it's the 
go to the tree and that's it and then you attach your carabiner from your hammock to these loops yeah okay I've not much more to say about then it's just again there's some loose thread they could have mounted back I don't know why the quality control don't pick up things like that as if it just goes through the machine and out the other end and then gets rolled up and put in the sack or by machine the only two bits sewn on by the sewing machine are the labels yeah it's a bit I don't know need a little bit more attention to the uh, detail and quality I'll put it around the tree and I'll show you it connected to the hammock and how you adjust with these. Uh, the trees, there's another one there. And I'll be hanging the hammock. So I'm going to have to decide which end. I think they're both the same. Let's have a look. Yeah, they're both the same where the labels are. It's going to make no difference which way around we do this so there's not a right end or a wrong end this, one, this end's got a loop this end's got a loop so yep, let's throw it around the tree open the loop up and pass the rest of the other one through. Now, how much of this strap you'll get for adjustment will depend on the girth of the tree, how big it is. So the bigger the tree, the less adjustment points you'll have. So the smaller the tree, the more adjustment loops you'll have. Get that one there and then put the other one up. Now, like I said, I normally put a carabiner on here, so when I wrap this around, all I've got to do is clip the carabiner and it's done. There's no need for all this putting it through and pulling it. I don't know if it only takes a few extra seconds, but if the weather's bad or you're tired then a few seconds actually add up especially if you've done 20 30 kilometer kilometers hike on a hot day you just want to get the hammock out get your tarp up and lay in the shade and recover with your water okay i'm at the tree i've got my tree straps up time to get the hammock up now what I'm going to do is, they say this is what, 2.8 meters, so I'm going to pace between the trees and then estimate what's left over, divide it by two and guess where my hammer's going to go so it'll help centre it in between the two trees to get a nice better lay. About, we'll guess about there first. Now let's see if we're right. Yeah, we can bring it down a bit. And what have we got? One, two, three, four. We can bring it down to about six or six. Let's have a look. Five, six. Three, three, four, five. Nice stretch. So this is how your hammock straps work. You wrap around the tree, you got the loops and you hook in. Now your hammock straps when you're putting the hammock up the average is 30 degree angle the strap should be at. And the estimated guess of the 30 degree angle is by holding your finger, uh, finger and thumb parallel with the ground and that angle there 
from tip to tip is on average about the 30 degrees so what we've got there is not far off it and if I wanted to adjust it to make that even shallower again just take that out and bring it up to here and that's more of the 30 degrees so what I think I'm going to need to do is bring my straps down because I'm going to need a step ladder to get into this now That's a better height. And we've got five and a half loops down this end. I'm looking at the end about four and a half, so I'm going to lift this up one more. That's how easy it is to adjust these straps. Always give them a test, grab your hammock. Especially if it's the first time you're using your hammock, because you will get a bit stretched as the end of your hammock tightens up and you'll get a bit of stretching and tightening around the tree. So that's how you adjust your hammock straps. It's quite, quite easy, straightforward. Actually, if you'd use a whoppy sling or something, you, you could adjust this gently up. But here, you've only got the gap of here, what's that? One, two, two, three inches, three inches, three inches. But they're still, they're simple, they're easy, they're great to start with something like this. So, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's given you an idea about the Alton Goods hammock straps and how easy they are to use. Yeah, and are they worth it for you? So, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please go down below and subscribe and hit the thumbs up button, the like button and hit the notification bell and select all so you'll be notified of all future videos.